What's going on everybody? When I first got introduced to this game, I was under the impression that I had to put a ton of money into it in order to get anything worthwhile out of it. That was due in part to information I'd gotten from other content creators who made videos talking about how this game is heavily paid to win. But one day I was bored and I decided, you know what, I'm going to give this game a try. And I realized in playing that there are a lot of opportunities to play this game without having to put any cash into it. So today, we're going to go through some of those misconceptions and I'll show you how I was able to get very close to Endgame without having to put a ton of money to get worthwhile gameplay. Now in my main account, I play on a global server. I did put money to buy stash space and I'll explain that later. But in this gameplay right here, I'm actually on the Korean server and I am not able to spend any money because of course, you know, I don't have any one and it won't let me use US credit card or anything like that to purchase items in this game. So I did this entirely free to play and right now I'm currently in act 10. So that's really, really close to end game, really close to end game. Now, this video is going to be two parts long because I don't want it to go on for too long. So make sure you keep an eye out for the second part. All right. Um, one of the videos that I'll be covering today is by an amazing content creator who goes by the name of The Full Measure. Now, this guy makes excellent videos. I remember when Outriders was released, he covered that game heavily and made some of the best build videos out there. I even copied some of his builds because they were so awesome. However, when he covered this game, there are a few things that he didn't quite get right. And what it comes down to is I simply believe that he did not play this game long enough to understand the mechanics. It seems that he made his way to the first town, looked at the cash shop, and prematurely decided that it was not worth playing based on what he saw. It's not entirely his fault though, because at the same time, a lot of content creators were burnt out in recovering from the Diablo Immortal fiasco, which is a thousand times more pay to win than Undecember. All right, now let's take a look at what he had to say. And right off the bat, when you look through some of these items, something that is very, very clear is that this already shows a lot of pay to win because there's a lot of things here that you can buy, which obviously give you a massive advantage over someone else who isn't buying anything. And uh that is very true. There's a lot of things in here that you can buy that will give you a boost and an advantage, but it's not nece necessary to purchase those things. All of them can be earned through game. And he's going to explain that as well. Uh, I know that there's a there's an argument to be made here to, you know, whether if, if it's just you playing by yourself, who gives a fuck if somebody wants to blow their money and all that stuff. I will discuss that that whole argument, that whole point at the end of the video. So hold your tongue. But specifically, again, just saying as we go through here, there's a lot of stuff here that essentially looks like ways for you to give you know yourself like a, a fucking boost, basically, and it involves spending real money on it. There is, however, one thing which you can buy with an in-game currency, which is, you know, fucking gold. But I'm 100% sure that this is going to also like 50,000 gold is probably like a ridiculous amount of gold. But 50,000 gold is not hard to come by right now. Currently, I am sitting at. 1.8 mil gold and i'm in playing this game entirely free to play actually i'm at 1.9 as you can see 1.9 million gold and that's just from playing the game and from doing events all right let's continue specifically let's go ahead and look at consumables and convenience because this is generally speaking where people swipe where people spend money and uh, this is already where you start seeing something that's problematic. So I'll also explain one more thing. Um, as you can see, these are rubies. They are an interesting because they don't drop in game. They are only available in the cash shop. But as a free to play player, you can get them by selling things in the auction house. Now, the way that works is it's simple. Those that do spend money in the game, actually, let me show you what the auction house looks like. Give me one moment here. 
I'm gonna just set the auto. Let's go to the auction house. All right, so this is the auction house. Now, like I said, the way this works, it's simple. Those that do spend money and rubies in the game, they use them to purchase things from the cash shop. Oh, excuse me. They use the rubies they purchase from the cash shop to purchase things from the auction house, which then allows John, who's a free-to-play player, access to the rubies. So if Bobby decides, you know what, I'm going to spend $40 and I'm going to purchase diamonds, convert those diamonds to rubies, and then use those rubies to buy, let's say, this sword right here, or excuse me, this dagger right here from John. So now John just made 70,000 rubies without having to pay a dime in the game. So yes, the rubies themselves, you have to pay from, you have to get from the cash shop, but there will always be players that plays the game that will invest money into it. All right, let's continue. First of all, this Stardust of Oblivion. So how this game works is you have your basic stats, which you level up and you put points into them. And that's like strength, dexterity and intellect. But then you also have like another leveling system, which is essentially this rune chart where you go through different star signs and you give yourself different bonuses and all that stuff. You cannot change this shit on the fly. Once you pick something and lock it in, it's fucking done and dusted. And if you want to change that, you need this item. You need Stardust of Oblivion. And this motherfucking shit costs three US a pop. So every time you want to change your stats, you want to switch from an intellect based character to a strength based character, or you realize, oh my fuck, I shouldn't have put all my points into intellect. Jesus Christ, I definitely should have put some stuff into dexterity so that I can at least dodge some things before they kill me. Guess what? You're spending three US. And you have to do that every time. Now, there is, however, they may. Now, everything he just said is entirely incorrect, and I will show you why. Changing your stats is 100% free before you complete Act 2, and I'll show you where it states that. And it states that directly in the game. Right here. Can be reset without spending gold until Episode 2 is completed. So until you get to Endgame, Changing your stats and your traits is completely free. No gold required, no stardust required. You just click on reset in the bottom left and you click reset stats. Instantly, I get all my stats back. No money spent, no stardust required. 100% free. Now I'm probably gonna have to adjust this back. I don't even remember what I had it, but I'll get there eventually. So uh, the, the most important thing is if there was a player that was interested in playing this game, watching his video would be a huge deterrent. It will cause them to turn away and not even look at this game again because I was one of those people that fell victim to that. I watched the video. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna play this game anymore because it's too much pay to win for me. I'm not gonna waste my time. And that's all due to exactly what he just showed us just now is how heavily paid to win this game was in regards to just changing your stats alone. He explained that you had to pay three US dollars every single time you change your stats, which is completely false. It is free. All right. Now I'm going to end this video right here because I don't want it to go on for too long. Um, I'm going to drop part two really short. So stay tuned.